Hello, this is King Shuk from JagoInvestor.com, and today I will talk about indexation and how cost inflation index, that is CII, is associated with it. Today's topic: indexation and cost inflation index. Before getting into the main topic, let's understand where indexation is used. Where is indexation used? There are certain investments like gold, real estate, debt mutual funds, bonds, etc., that are called capital assets. the profit that you earn from these assets is called capital gain and the tax that is implemented on this capital gain is called capital gain tax but the interesting thing is that the value of these assets keeps changing from time to time the return on these assets is not fixed if the value of these kinds of assets increases the profit is called a capital gain which happens on the appreciation of a capital asset taxation of capital assets taxation of these kind of assets is done differently because the value of the assets is not fixed when taxation is done the indexed purchase price is considered for the capital assets instead of the actual purchase price of it this is done to include the effect of inflation in simple words if the inflation rate increases over a period of time it will eventually reduce the capital gain and tax an important rule for indexation of capital assets now here is one thing that you should remember that if you hold a capital asset for less than 3 years then the taxation will be applied normally and it will be included in your income tax but if you hold the asset for more than 3 years then indexation will be applied and the indexed purchase price will be considered for tax calculation to calculate the indexed purchase price the government introduced a table called the cost inflation index table or cii table Now let's understand how to calculate the CII with the help of the table. Let's understand this with the help of an example. You bought a house of rupees 50 lakhs in the financial year of 2003-04 and sold it in the financial year 2019-20 for rupees 2 crore. So now what will be the capital gain after considering CII? Normally people would think that the capital gain is the difference between the selling value and the purchase value. That is rupees 1.5 crore. but the capital gain is not calculated like that in this case the capital gain will be rupees 67 lakhs after considering cii now let's see how to calculate the cii firstly we will have to do the indexation of the purchase price of the house according to the ciis of the given years according to the table cii for 2034 is 109 and cii for 2019-20 is 289 Now the formula for the indexed cost of acquisition is like this. Now after applying this formula, the indexed cost of acquisition will be 1.33 crore approximately. Here the capital gain is rupees 67 lakhs approximately. This would have been rupees 1.5 crore without CII. Hence the tax to be paid is 20% on capital gains which is 20% of 67 lakhs which is 13.4 lakhs I hope after this video you have a good grasp on the concept of CII If you like the video do share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel Jago Investor See you next time